Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's video is going to be very interesting because what you see here, you see a mixed couple, their child and the question is, what would happen if this male would marry this female and this female would marry someone who belongs to her ethnicity. And I want to discuss today consequences from the point of view of genetics. As you know, humans have about 23,000 of genes, so today for simplicity I am going to take only two genes, which can be either normal or defective, and we have two alleles for each gene. So those uh, alleles can be either normal or defective, so not performing the function. Let's say we have some gene A in this population and it can be with the dominant normal allele A or recessive allele A which is defective and the frequency of this dominant allele is going to be 9 out of 10 normal and frequency of the recessive allele is going to be 1 out of 10. So 1 of 10 would be defective allele and if person is going to have two such defective alleles, he is going to show or manifest some genetic disorder. So what is the probability for this couple who belong to the same ethnicity to have a child with genotype small a small a and the probability is going to be one tenth and one tenth here and we have to multiply this uh, two numbers and the probability is going to be one out of 100 that the child is going to have this genotype if frequency of this defective allele is 1 out of 10 in the gene pool. Let's also imagine that there is another gene, gene B, and also we have two alleles, dominant allele and recessive allele of this gene. Dominant means normal allele, which produce normal protein or enzyme, and this allele means defective allele, which doesn't produce normal protein, which performs a normal function. Now let's say that this normal allele is much more frequent, so 99 out of 100 alleles are normal compared with this frequency. That means that this defective allele B, recessive allele B, would be 1 out of 100 in this gene pool. So for this couple who belong to the same ethnicity, probability that their child would inherit two defective alleles, so genotype would be small b, small b is going to be 100 and 100 probability that second allele also going to be defective. We have to multiply these two probabilities and we are going to get such probability as 1 out of 10,000. Now imagine that this rules applies to all this population because frequency of this dominant allele A and B, recessive allele A and B are the same for the whole population. And let's take, for example, 100,000 people who belong to this population. So how many people would be affected with um, disease which is caused by a recessive condition for the locus A, we know the frequency is 100, so times 100, and in this population about 1000 people are going to be affected with condition which is a small a, small a genotype. Again, we take 100,000 people from this population and how many of them are going to have disease caused by this condition when to recessive allele B we can find and the frequency as you see 1 out of 10,000. So we have to multiply by 1 divided by 10,000 and 10 people are going to be affected with uh, this condition which is caused by two recessive alleles B. So out of 100,000 people we are going to have 1,010 people who are going to have any of these disorders caused by 
with uh, this condition or this condition. So 1000 plus 10, 1000, 10 people would have some health issues which are caused by uh, these genotypes. Now let's consider this couple who belongs to the same ethnicity and of course they have the same genes like this couple, so they belong to the different ethnicities, but we have absolutely the same genes. But what we have different is allelic frequency in this population. For example, frequency of this recessive allele A can be one tenth. But in this population, frequency of the same recessive allele can be one hundredth instead. Let's now assume that uh, again there are two alleles A capital A small which stands for the normal and recessive allele and in this population the frequency of the dominant allele A is going to be 99 out of 100 and frequency of the recessive allele is going to be 1 out of 100 compared with 9 tenths and 1 tenths here. In this population, probability that uh, their child would belong to the uh, genotype small a small a would be one hundredth times one hundredth. So probability is going to be one out of ten thousand. Compare with probability of the same genetic disorder in this population, which is one out of 100. Now let's consider locus B. Again, this locus may have two alleles. Dominant allele B and recessive allele B. And the frequency is going to be as follows. 9 out of 10 would be dominant normal allele B and 1 out of 10 is going to be recessive defective allele B. So what is the probability that in this population child would have genotype small b small b and the probability is going to be as follows one tenth and one tenth here so we have to multiply these two probabilities and we are going to get probability of one hundredths again let's do the same calculations for the whole population as we did for this population of some caucasian uh, ethnicity it can be, say, French, Russian, Polish, Ukrainians. And these people also can belong to the same ethnicity, for example, Kenyans or Somalis. And again, let's take 100,000 people of this ethnicity. And how many do we expect would uh, have genotype, which is small a, small a. The frequency we have found is going to be 1 out of 10,000. So 1 over 10,000. So we expect that about 10 people are going to have this condition. So let me circle it. And again, we take 100,000 people and how many of them would have condition which is small b, small b. We have found the frequency of this condition, this population is 1 out of 100 people would have this condition. So out of 100,000 people, we expect that 1,000 people would have this condition. Again, we add these two numbers and we are going to get 1,010 people. Exactly the same people would have uh, genetic conditions, same two conditions, but with different frequency but the same 1010 people would be affected. Now where the magic happens, I'm not going to talk about single couple, but in genetics, in population genetics, we are talking about large numbers on population level. So let's consider many people who are mixed couple. So what is the probability that the progeny would have any of this genetic conditions. I need a little bit more space for my calculations. So what is the probability of the defective allele in this population, probability of the defective allele A? 
As you remember, the frequency of the defective allele A in this Caucasian population is 1 out of 10. And what is the frequency of the same allele in this population? And as you remember, the frequency of this allele in this population is 1 out of 100. So when we multiply these two numbers, we are going to get a probability of this homozygous recessive genotype in the progeny as 1 out of 1000. And if we multiply by 100,000, let's take uh, the whole population of, say, 100,000 people who are mixed, we expect that uh, in this population we are going to see 100 people who belong to this genotype, small a, small a, and would be affected by this genetic disorder. Now let's find probability. What is the probability that child in this Caucasian population would inherit from uh, his parent this recessive allele B? As you remember, the frequency of this allele in this population is 1 out of 100. What is the probability that the child would inherit the same recessive allele B from the other parent who is of the different ethnicity and in that ethnicity the frequency of this allele is 1 out of 10. Again, we multiply these two probabilities and we are going to get that 1 out of 1000. This is going to be a chance for this couple to have um, a child who belongs to this genotype. Again, on the population level, we have to multiply by 100,000 people and we expect that 100 people would belong to this genotype and would inherit this genetic disorder. Now we have to add these two numbers and we can find that 200 people in population of mixed couples would have any of these conditions. 200 people. And now compare with these numbers that we have found earlier, 1010 people. As you know, many people are very traditional and from both sides relatives can be against such mixed race marriages, but eventually they give up and say at least children would be beautiful. And now you know that it is true. Children in such couples tend to be more healthy, beautiful, and less prone to different genetic disorders, and even more symmetrical, and symmetry means beauty, and statistically even taller than their parents. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.